Hello everyone, welcome. It's Christine with Powder Crafts here with a design team project for Scrapping for Less. Today I'll be using this stamp set here from Newton's Nook called Made from Scratch. I'm going to be making an interactive card today using the Peekaboo Wheel from MFT. So I've already cut all of my um, pieces that I need. So let's go ahead and stamp out the images. So I am going to stamp all the images with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and we're going to color those with Copic markers. I am using my Misty because um, it's just easier in case I miss stamp something and I can kind of do them all at once so it also saves a little bit of time. So the thought process for this card today is to kind of have all of these images colored and kind of um, assorted on the front of the card. Some will be um, popped up on some foam tape and some will be taped directly to the card. So again, just using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, I'm going to go ahead and stamp that two times. I have had this peekaboo wheel for a little while and um, I haven't been brave enough to use it yet. So we're gonna discover how to use this today. And this stamp set is super adorable and I thought it'd be perfect um, for, for this interactive card. So we are going to color with a variety of different markers today, but I'm pretty much using the same colors on all the images that are gonna have those sorts of shades. So I'm using some C1, C3, and C5 for most of my gray colors today. Um, at first I'm starting to be really careful in how I color and I'm not really sure because why because I knew I was going to fussy cut these out. So kind of towards the end you'll start to see me being really messy when I realize why in the world am I being so neat on the edges. I am going to fussy cut these. So for the browns I'm using an E21 or E21, E33, and E39. And again, those brown colors will carry out throughout the other images as well. And the pink that I'm using there is an E93. So I'm using G24 and G29 for the oven mint. And again, to those same brown colors for this wooden spoon. And for the inside of whatever is being baked in this bowl. For my blues, I am using B21 and B24. And you can see I'm starting to be a little messy um, with those lines, which when you're fussy cutting them out and there's not going to be a border, there's no reason to really worry too much about those lines. So I did use E27, or not, sorry, R27 and R29 for my reds, but you'll see like the R29 just wasn't dark enough and you're not really getting a lot of shading. So I did not video fussy cutting all those images, but there they are. And we're going to try to put this little wheel together. So I, this is the wheel part that gets cut out and I used a ruler to just kind of draw a line so that the circle was quartered where each of the windows was going to go. So here I'm kind of figuring out where my wheel is going to be underneath this panel so I can cut my window where I need it to be. So I'm just grabbing some washi and I'll go ahead and put that down and then I'm going to run that through my cuddle bug. Once I have my window cut out, I am going to work on stamping the sentiments in the stamp set into each of these little windows. So like I said, I had drawn these lines. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to, to figure out where to put my sentiments. So what I end up doing is actually just attaching my card panel and the wheel together. And these little um, lines I drew with the pencil came out really helpful. So this is a very tiny brad, but it did give me some trouble opening. So you'll see me struggle with this here. And there's a pencil line. So when it's 
in the middle where I'm like twisting right there, then I'm going to just draw a pencil line where the circle should be. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that for the remaining three quarters because you saw I had already done that with the first one. Then I'm going to go ahead and take it apart and now I'm going to stamp the sentiments from this adorable stamp set right in those circles. And the stamp set had four sentiments that fit perfectly in these circles. Um, so I'm going to just grow ahead, go ahead and grab my first stamp here using the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and I'm going to put it right there in the middle of that circle as best I can and this one says roll with it. Then I kind of turn my paper like I would turn the wheel and this one here says um, handmade with love. And again, you just keep turning it and you'll see like you can't just stamp them all in the same direction. That one there says hot stuff. And then this last one here says let's stir things up and it fits into that circle kind of tightly. So I do pull it a little bit closer to me so I make sure that it's centered in there like it needs to be. So now back to my card panel. I'm using some Memento Dewdrop inks here. I'm using Summer Sky and cantaloupe and I'm just going to kind of make a watercolor background with these two colors. I'm going to go ahead and press my cardstock right on in there and pull that right off. Um, at this point I probably should have cut the video a little sooner because with this mat you can't use a paper towel. It has to be a microfiber cloth so I'm looking for my microfiber cloth. So sorry, I wasn't able to cut this out. You'll just have to check out that panel for a minute. All right, here's our panel, it's all dry. So now I'm going to put the um, wheel and the panel together with the brad. Now to cover the brad, I am going to be using the mixer from the stamp set. It is the biggest image from the stamp set. And I thought it would be great to hide that little brad holding that in place. Um, in hindsight, I'd probably put this on two layers of foam tape because it, that brad kind of pushes that top out a little bit further than the rest of the, the image. So I'm just using some liquid glue here to put down the items that are going to be just attached to the panel. And I'll use foam tape to pop some other pieces up to give it a little bit of dimension. So careful not to stick that wooden spoon to my wheel or it won't be able to turn. I'm gonna go ahead and add the bowl. Decided to put my largest images first because then I can kind of mess around a little bit with the um, smaller images and would be able to fill in a little bit easier. So next we're going to add the oven mitt with some foam tape and the measuring cup. Again, adding a little bit of foam tape, um, but I decided I'm going to put the spatula in first. I tuck that right behind. The rolling pin will go up on um, a little piece of foam tape. I thought it popped up nicely with the oven mitt. Oh, and I guess I decide in, at the end that it's going to tuck behind the mixer so that just goes down with some glue. So getting towards the end here, going to add some foam tape to the edges like where the wheel is not um, in the way but I also am trying to make sure like is one layer enough where you're still going to be able to move the, the wheel and absolutely one layer of foam tape you can absolutely continue to move that wheel. So now I'm going to grab a piece of light blue cardstock. This is 100 pound cardstock for my card base going to go ahead and adhere my front panel. 
make sure that it moves. And then I'm gonna grab a piece of white cardstock for the inside of my card. So again, from the same scent, um, stamp set, I'm grabbing another sentiment. And this one says, whisking you a happy birthday. And I did leave the whisk out because I thought it would be perfect to fit on the inside with this sentiment. This stamp set is so cute. I think the only two stamps I didn't use it in this stamp set was the sentiment, you spin me right round, which would have been cool if it would have fit in the little window. And then the other one was bake, stir, sprinkle, mix. But I thought that this came out really, really cute. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. This is my first time making this kind of card. And um, I was really pleased with how it came out. So of course, no card is complete without adding some finishing touches. So we are adding some glossy accents to all of the little hearts on all of our little um, images here. There's a little heart on almost all of them. So I added some glossy accents to all of those. I'm using some Wink of Stella on the mixing bowl. And I pretty much just leave it just on the mixing bowl. Then I'm grabbing these red stickles to add to that bowl where the red line is. And I'm also grabbing some Nouveau glitter drops. These ones are called White Blizzard. And then I'm just making um, just some dots of various sizes on the upper half of the card. All right, guys, and that completes today's card. I'm just gonna give you a little close up. Then I thought maybe I was going too fast, so I did back it up and slow it down a little bit. Um, so there you go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button. But until next time, bye.